In this tutorial series, we will be making a zombie survival shooter game inside of Unity. This is the 8th part of the tutorial series in which we will learn how to add a ragdoll death system for our enemies. In the end of the video, we will be able to make this. Get the f*** out of here! So in the last 7 parts of the tutorial series, this is what we were able to make. We were able to make the movement system as well as the vaulting system. We added the aiming system uh, so that when we look up and down, he looks up and down. Uh, we can also kill the guy with the headshot. We also added the health bar which looks something like that. Uh, we also added the emanation system like this over here that will show us how many bullets we have left. We also added the animation and all that good stuff. So if you have missed uh, the tutorials then make sure you click the card on the top right corner over here and see the full playlist first. Anyways let's dive into the today's tutorial. So um, let's first go ahead and delete all the zombies except the one so that we don't have any miss in our scene and this is the zombie that we have. Now the first thing that we will of course have to do is to add a ragdoll to this guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the front view just like that and I'm gonna select the zombie right click and go to 3d object and in there you will find uh, ragdoll just like that so you have to just click ragdoll and here we have create ragdoll I'm gonna go ahead and open up the zombie and in there we have the mix mo hips or the rig basically and we're gonna drag and drop the hips inside of the pelvis and then we have uh, these guys so I'm gonna quickly open this whole hip up so you have to just hold alt and click the sign it it will completely open up everything that is inside of it okay so uh, it asks left uh, left hip left knee left foot basically it is left leg up left leg and left foot so you have to just drag in these left leg left leg and left foot there we go so left leg up left leg foot same goes for the right so where is the right right leg right leg up right leg and then right foot there we go and then the left arm and left and uh, left elbow so that will be left arm and left forearm uh, there we go uh, the names are different of course but doesn't matters uh, so left uh, right arm and right forearm and then there it is middle spine middle spine basically will be spine one because it is in the middle of spine and spine two so spine one there we go and then for the head it is right inside the neck there is the head and one once it is complete we can say create and once we create it you can click the zombie and you will see there's some kind of thing going on as you can see there is uh, colliders for the legs this glider for the hip and all that all right but as you can see we cannot uh, there's a some we cannot see the colliders of the hands and the head uh, so we will have to fix that so we will go to the uh, head first so go to the head and as you can see the uh, radius is really small so we will have to increase it in your case it might not be the case however in my case it is so I'm gonna increase it just like that okay now we can go to the uh, right arm and as you can see the radius is really small if I press F as you can see the radius is really small so I'm gonna increase the radius a little bit so that it is just like that increase the height a little bit there we go and I have to go to the forearm and this is the forearm over there and so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the radius and increase the height but you will see uh, if I increase the height you will see it is in the wrong direction it is going in that direction we don't want it we want to come in this direction so in order to fix that you have to go in the direction you have to just change the y direction just like that and then we can move it in the y axis just like that increase the height a little bit more and there we go good now we can basically copy the component from here we can go to the uh, left forearm and paste the component values in there just like that and I'm gonna go ahead and do that and that move it over here move it just a little bit over there and a little bit over there so as you can see we have basically uh, fixed the uh, just, just this is remaining so I'm gonna real quick come in here and say left left arm increase the radius a little bit and there we go good now if I select the whole zombie and come in the front view to see if I select the whole zombie there we go as you can see the head is there there's the arms there's the hips there's the body and there are the legs and all that so I think it looks pretty cool 
Okay, so how do we uh, see if the ragdoll is uh, working properly or not? So I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, disable this capsule player over here, play the game. Now if I play the game, basically nothing will pr happen. He will do his own animation just like that and nothing is basically happening unless if I uh, disable the animator control. If I do that, you can see he basically dies. There we go. And if I re-enable it, he's gonna come back to his original position, the animation. He dies again. There we go. This is the basically the switch to enable or disable the ragdoll. So, uh, with that done, I can go ahead and come out of the game view. Now, the only thing that we need to do is we need to enable and disable the animator controller uh, when the enemy basically dies. So, if I go to the damage FSM over here, well, by the way, if you don't know what this is, it, it means you haven't seen any of my previous videos or any of the videos at all in my uh, in my channel. This basically is Playmaker. Playmaker is a really cool asset that helps you make games without writing a single line of code. Uh, all of this that you just see over here is made without writing a single line of code. So if you're interested, make sure you see the whole playlist. If you want to get Playmaker, you can buy it from as a store or you can basically download it for free. The link will be in the description box below. So in this state, in this state 3, we can see uh, we basically die. Now uh, the zombie basically dies. Uh, so when the zombie dies, we basically go ahead and set the animator bool death to true. And basically what it does is if we go to this uh, animation, which looks something like this. But for this is not what we want. We want to kill the zombie with the ragdoll. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And we basically want to go ahead and drag in the animator controller uh, of the zombie. Drag it in there. And we're going to say set property. And the property that we want to set is enabled. And we're going to just say disabled. If we do that, it means enabled. And this means disabled. So we want to simply disable it. All right. Uh, and hopefully it will work if I go to the scene and go ahead and play the game and you basically can see what is happening in here uh, Let's see so as you can see we go to state 2 and If I go ahead and take a headshot of the zombie Bam as you can see he dies with the ragdoll because the animator controller is now uh, turned off because we are in state 3 and in state 3 we got set set property of the animator controller to be false and we basically killed the zombie with the ragdoll there we go but there will be a one problem now if i hit the zombie on the body you will see nothing will happen but if i hit it on the head he will basically die now why is nothing happening when we kill the zombie on the body or if we hit the zombie on the body? Well it is because the body of the zombie does not have any tags. So uh, if I go to the zombie and if I select any of it like the hip as you can see it is untagged. What we are going to do is we are going to select the hip and we are going to go down all the way and select everything there and we are going to set this to body alright and then we are going to go to the head and the only the head will be set to the head tag simple as that clear right so if i come back to the zombie uh, or if i come back to the player and play the game now basically it will not work again <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you guys why if i select uh, if i hit the zombie on the uh, on the body you can see we are hitting the object and the object that we hit is left forearm but we do not hit the uh, he is not getting hurt uh, the health is still the same and he's not doing the hit reaction animation why well it is because the same reason uh, that we had for the head uh, in the previous videos uh, we have to basically get the root object that like we did in for the headshot in this state we get the root object first because we hit the right forearm right but we want to get the zombies so we are hitting this object somewhere over here left forearm and then we want to get the root object that is a zombie and then in this uh, because this game object the root game object has the actual FSM the damage FSM right so I'm gonna go ahead and say get root and drag the oopsie doopsie drag the root all the way on the top just like that and say specify the game object to be the hit object and then store it in the zombie and then in here we just say zombie if you don't know what is happening over here well it means you haven't seen any of my previous videos otherwise you should know what is happening over here now if you play the game basically everything should properly work because we are getting the root object and when we get the root object we we work there we go 
now he dies there we go and yeah i like it i really do like it now you can take this effect to a really next level by adding the force where we are uh, firing the bullet so how you do that is by going to zombie go to the damage and the state in which we die and in here we want to say get fsm float uh, now get fsm game object basically and drag that all the way in the top and the game object that we want to get is the is from the player the fsm name is fire and the game object that we want to get is the hit object basically it is the object that we hit by the bullet right so it obviously will be the part of the body of the zombie right so we're going to store that in a new variable called hit or anything <laughs> no no oh, okay there there we go h and then we're going to go ahead and say add force and we're going to add force on that part of the body so when you specify the game object to be the hit or the edge that we just stored over here basically it is the game object that the part of the uh, body of the zombie uh, where we hit uh, the bullet and we're gonna go ahead and add force and we're gonna say space and zero 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 <coughs> set it to world and force okay now I experimented with it and I got these two numbers one is 600 in the vial which basically move it up moves it up a little bit and then minus 3000 big in the z because we want to move him back a little bit all right and back uh, with a force of minus 3000 we don't want to get every frame because he's gonna just fly up and away that is not what we want so we want to just add a little force when he dies so if we play the game right now now hopefully he will die better uh, because he's a zombie and he should die better so if I get a headshot right now and BAM as you can see he gets a force over there here's a bonus tip if you want a, raw, a zombie jet system you can go ahead and come in here set this to zero set this to self and set this to every frame there we go now you have your zombie jet ready so whenever we kill them they're gonna fly to the heaven if we play the game right now you will see the zombies going to the heaven or the hell it's up to you <laughs> there we go there we go go to the heaven or the hell up to you up to you oh. okay that <laughs> there we go zombies going to the heaven or the hell oh wasn't able to do that so i'm gonna shoot him once more <laughs> there we go and you do you want to go huh do you want to go go join your yeah so this is how you make a ragdoll death system for your game uh hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any future videos um because in the next video i will make the zombie ai that yeah yeah you die you son of a bitch uh i i will make a zombie ai that will chase you and when they reach you they can just yeah slap you in the face and all that good stuff uh, so if you don't, don't want to miss that make sure you subscribe to this channel and yeah hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload any tutorial video uh with that said goodbye if i want to fly this guy fly 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 there we go there we go yeah yeah so hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in my next video